As we have mentioned in our previous videos, the Millennium Regional Recreational Trail is a computer trail that stretches along the Hydro Canal from the south end of the city all the way to the north end. And today we are highlighting this section, the Paisley Janvery Pool Pathway. The trail was named after me for my work completed as a former city councillor of 21 years and advocate of trails within our city. Back in 1998, the federal government announced fundings for projects to commemorate the new millennium. As chair of the city's civic committee, we entertained potential projects and submitted several of them for the government's consideration. One of the projects was the Trails and Bikeway Committee's proposal for a multi-use recreational trail along the Ontario Power Canal in partnership with Ontario Power Generation. The project was approved and the first section of the trail was completed and officially opened in 2001, which is now the John McCall McBain Pathway. <clears throat> Ten years later, my section of the Millennium Recreational Trail was constructed, adding approximately 1.4 kilometers of new paved trail. The governments of Canada and Ontario each committed up to a third of the costs for this section of the trail, with the city contributing the balance. The support and commitment from Ontario Power Generation was critical in making the Millennium Tr Recreational Trail project happen. Soon after the trail was built, a community group called Track Niagara adapted this trail to keep it clean and tidy of debris. City landscape architect Jeff Clayton was the project manager for the development of the trail that features one of the three main parking areas for the whole of the trails. The trail connects to the existing Niagara Falls Lions Legacy Pathway and will soon connect to the future Rotary Story Walk Pathway that is being constructed in the summer of 2020. My trail, like all other Millennium Trail sections, is paved with asphalt to meet accessibility needs and to allow for easy maintenance during the winter months and includes waste containers and benches and is well used. Construction of the trail was completed in 2011 with a grand opening taking place on September the 20th, 2011. At that time, the Park and the City Committee also planted a tree in my honor near the trail start beside the parking lot. There is a trail signboard that also outlines the whole stretch of all the Millennium Trail sections. It's important that we all recognize the etiquette of the trail it includes users keeping their dogs on leash, picking up after their pets, no motorized vehicles, and no smoking. People on the trail should stick to the right side of the trail to allow for bikers to manage easily around the walkers, and please no littering. There has been some recent vandalism, and it's very sad because this trail belongs to all of us. And now it's time to ride the trail.
another the Niagara Falls Trail show. So keep keep watching, and you'll you'll be able to see it all.